is a, a, a basic overview of how you would go about uh, designing a gaseous extinguishing system. So really looking at the, the key criteria that the designer will need to gather and implement in uh, pulling together um, a solid, reliable design of a gas extinguishing system. My name is Alan Elder, I'm the Global Director for Engineered Systems of Tyco Fire Protection Products. Uh, specifically, uh, Engineered Systems covers gaseous extinguishing systems with one or two other product lines thrown in for good measure, like large dry chemical systems. Uh, but typically, and the, the bulk of my responsibility is in respect to the uh, gaseous extinguishing systems. When we talk about gaseous extinguishing systems, we're talking about real two, two categories of gases. We're talking about clean agents, and clean agents include the halocarbon group and the inert gas group. And then we talk about CO2, which while in many respects is a clean extinguishing agent, it's not in that category or that basket that's recognised by the standards as a truly clean agent. So we'll look at the basics and when we talk about clean agent systems, we're actually talking about the application of a gas in a total flooding environment. And total flooding is de defined by an enclosure that has limited uh, leakage sites from which the gas can leak into the surrounding area. If we talk about CO2 as that second category, CO2 may be designed for local application of enclosures where there are uh, more leakage sites than can be tolerated with a uh, typical clean agent system. Generally when we look at clean agents, and to a large degree with CO2 as well, we're looking at three classes of fires, class A, B and C. The terminology differs between what you would consider to be the, the three main fire classes in the, in the European market compared with those that you would uh, deal with in the, in the US. So a class A fire uh, globally is a solid, a solid burning fire, a class B is a flammable liquid and then there's a separation between the European terminology and the American terminology when you get to class C. So class C in European terminology is flammable gases and in the US that is typically uh, energised or uh, electrical type fires where there is a propensity to that, for that fire to become more deep seated. These products typically, and there are some exceptions, typically wouldn't be used on uh, reactive metals or on ge grease and, and cooking oil. So you wouldn't typically see these in a, in a kitchen environment and you wouldn't see them in some of the industrial processes where uh, reactive metals are present. When we look at the uh, overall design of a clean agent system, we, we need to focus in on the various standards that would be applicable across the world. The standards listed on the left hand side are those that you would traditionally associate with true clean agents, so the halocarbon groups, halocarbons typically FM200, Novec 1230, and the inert gases, the Inogen, IG55, IG01 and IG100. Those are covered by that group of standards on the left. Common standard for the UK and indeed for Europe is EN15004, or in the UK BS EN15004. ISO 14520, very, very similar to the uh, European standard, but used on an international basis in, um, and certain countries have adopted the ISO standard as their national standard. Probably the most common standard worldwide is NFPA 2001, that's the US standard, used in, uh, obviously in the US, most of South America, parts of Asia Pacific and, and very much the standard of choice in the Middle East. And then there are two other standards that you may come across from time to time and these are the CEA standards. These are standards that are written by the insurance groups of Europe, so that's centralised European assurance group. And two standards there, 4008 covers inert gases and 4045 covers the halocarbon agents. And then the standards on the right hand side are the standards that you would associate with CO2. So in the UK, BS 5306 part 4, there is an ISO standard, ISO 6183, again an American standard, NFPA 12, again mo mainly the uh, standard of choice around the world outside of uh, outside of the UK and uh, you know, some other European countries. And then CEA 4007, again, similar to the clean agent uh, standards, there is a CO2 standard written by the CEA. 
in some cases, many of the fundamentals of these standards is very similar. But you also have to recognise that if there is a particular specification and that calls for one of these standards, there could be some very different um, methods of application and some things that could fundamentally affect the size of the system, the amount of agent that's used on the system and the way that the system is tested.